Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> guys, today I'm all super hyped up because I just finished watching King of Boys, Return of the King. Like this series, guys, like it's fire. This thing kept me on my bed. I couldn't do nothing to like finish this series, guys. Honestly, like it's so damn good. Like the acting, the acting is on point. Like, so much of what they born you were. Ah, oh, God, I felt for this super like. It took me to an emotional roller coaster. Ah, let me just start from the beginning, guys. Before you watch the series, make sure you watch the um. Before we don't get to the gist, guys. If you are new, kindly subscribe, please. Subscribe, guys. Like, comment, and share. Thank you. Now on to the gist that I can't wait to talk about, guys. So um, Cholachu Boale, aka um, Alaji. Alaji was Alaji in your last Alaji, God, guys. This woman took me on the roller coaster, like her uh, acting. Should be like this. Should be like this. Should be like what Nollywood should see. Like it should be on Nollywood. Like in Nollywood, there was an actual place in Nigeria. You get that? You should have top picture of your acting skills on like a big signboard. Like because this woman was so damn good. Her energy, her projection, her how what they call that stuff again, guys? Tenacity. What the all the English word, all the big bubble boy English word that she cannot, she cannot speak, guys. <laughs> yeah, she was the most time she be like, I don't speak with the drama here, but I speak and stuff like that. And I love the fact that. They are allowed to play with Yoruba so much, like she spoke Yoruba so much. It was so cultural, you get that? Like, forget the fact that other people are watching this movie, but let's speak our language. Like, Yoruba, I wouldn't be. Let's let me calm down. I'm too excited. I'm too excited because this film kept me on my toes. This is, this is like the first Nigerian movie or series to ever keep me on my toes like this. Like, guys, oh god. Shunachu Boale was just so good. She reserved all the award. Oscar or um, NBC or any award for action. Just give it to her. I won't complain. Give it to her. Just give it to her, guys. Like, I really pity that in the beginning because in the beginning, just still um, having this whole penance for uh, my kids dying and all that stuff again. Like, this woman sold Koboko inside Akarodu Pepe. Like, <laughs> inside Pepe, I was flogging herself for penance. I don't know. I know a religion does that in Nigeria, but I don't know which religion does that. But, like, guys, I felt for her. I felt like crying for her. Like, I want you all to talk. She be like, "Hey, Mimi, and you, I'm good, good, like, good." I just, I'm not just stays open like, ah, uh. <laughs> oh god, it wasn't anything. This is what they call acting one oh one. It was so good, and I love the fact that they play this role of ah uh, having a past self there to like. Remind her of who she was, you get that? Because most of the time in the movie, you found out that she was kind of becoming lenient, you get that? She's becoming more relaxed, she's not becoming this, she was not more this aggressive person that we all know and love. She was trying, she was trying to play school because she was running for governorship and all that stuff, you get now. So she was trying to play in school and have a clean slate and all that stuff. But like, her past self was there to remind her that, and you're lying, mean, you're lying them to like, giving us this Yoruba proverb, like, big, big proverb, you get now, like, so that was so cool, you get. So eventually at the end, she now came to herself, like, Think of boys like the person we know and we love, right? Like, it's so, just so so nice, it's just so nice for me. The whole acting, um, the best actor in the movie, in the series was ah, Chinachu Wale, Tony Tomato, and Yola. She had the best um, acting in the season, like, I love that so much. I love anytime they show that on my screen, like, yes, this is what I paid for. Mm, what I paid for, Netflix, Netflix subscription, sure, but like, yes, this is what I signed up for, this is what I want to see, guys, like, it was so. So good. So um, the second person that I really, really love, I'm really looking forward to anytime they show this um part of Odogu Male, Ilibis, like guy, that guy was full. Like he brought the comic into the old stuff. Like it was his own his own aspect of comedy because sadly he had to die, yeah. And his dying was epic, man. Like ah, the shooting, 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 the guy was still standing, it was still like does not bless. But not like it's not what you brought to kill me. I'm good. <laughs> so I went to him for sure, but like I love everybody. Every time they showed him was he brought the whole Igbo spice to the uh, cultural um, aspect of the movie because I was speaking Igbo most times. You get now calling her Aze instead of uh, when they're calling her Oba. You get stuff like that. So it was, it was it was really cool to watch. Now I loved it. I also loved um, um, this person that thing. Um, the okay, the girl's wife. Like she played she played the villain role. Yeah, yeah, she played the villain role. But like she played it so. Well, I think she's known that she was the same person as this phone swap. I think I forgot her very name, but she was the same person in phone swap. This woman was so nice. I love the way she punctuates, like the way she gives her lines. Do you get that? Like, she has this classy, yes, yeah, don't come for me okay. <laughs> kind of vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but like, I love how she took that out. 
Like she took it so well. So just so rich, um, what do they call this? Like this rich cartoon villain character you get. She played it so, so well. Then, um, um, Charlie Bell was okay. Charlie Bell was playing this. For me, it was like still this normal Charlie Bell with the old jewels and everything. The way he likes dressing, you get now. Playing the old uh, one liner. Uh, Villain kind of rule it was good. Um, I read it was good. I read it looked real young guy. I don't know the makeup. Where did the makeup um, stuff for him was really really good. Yeah, yeah. And the costume that Shola Shibale was wearing, all the clothes way. It's like who dressed this woman? Like the costume now to need an award. Like she looks like a literal like cultural queen. <laughs> like everything was um, stoned, like stone for the gods. Like it was just. You're just shining. Anyway, you see, I can always, there's something blinking on that. So you realize, yes, this is my got some money. I'm not just new money, old money. <laughs> so that one, Desha. So which other actor actually stood out for me? Um, I did really like the character. I did. I did with the um, um, Chalashu Bali's like personal, like front runner bodyguard or something like that. So um, it's it's not about the role. I mean, he played a very Tricky road that made us not like it because it was like, it was like it was a train, huh? Then at the end, we found out that oh, we're not betraying that. It was actually like we're in the same like page. But then again, when he was when he delivered his line and everything, I'm like, there's something dead about it. No offense to that was like that's that's why I saw it. Like something dead about when he plays, when he's talking, me when he's talking. There's something dead about when he delivers his line. But he tried. I mean, he's a king of boys, so ha, my dear, he tried. He tried. So um, which other character stood out for me? I think this is the character that stood out for me. There's no other character that um, I come to. And I just not watching the series, guys. So like, I can't remember the character right now. Then the character didn't really stand. But tell me, guys, if you watch the two, what was the best moment in that in the Oking of Boys series? My yeah, best moment is that ending part, episode seven, when Seb taking all those proverbs of saying the the lion. Oh god, I can't. It was in Yoruba, guys. I was really subtitled. But I wish I could speak Yoruba. And I could get Yoruba through very well. Like, but I enjoyed the movie more better. But like, she was speaking like, I just love the old, when she was speaking the old idiom and everything to them, Charlie Brown, don't have this thing. She now said, uh, she now called that guy's name, Tyga, oh yeah, thank God. She now said, she said, everyone, like, yes, 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 this is what I signed up for. Ha, <laughs> so so happy because like, I'm a good one, like, yes. She now did her crown marker, and I never expected it, guys. Like, when did she have marker? Like, did she just like some other into to of this whole stuff? Like, we need to know more. When did she and Maka plan all this stuff and everything? You get like, because so just like, um, like they kept, they kept, they kept, the script is nice, the script is nice, don't get me wrong, the script is very nice, you get everything nice, but like, I thought that if she had told us, and she showed us a part when she and Maka actually met, so we know when this collaboration was happening, so I took us a surprise, because I was really, really surprised when she crowned Makanaki, the next king of boys, like, wow, wow, that was the plot twist, I never see it coming, I never saw it coming, I never saw it coming at all. <laughs> so that was the, that, that was one of my best moments. Then one of my moments that I also actually really like was when she was vlogging herself because it it, it was just it just, it just made me understand that better. Like I pitied that that moment. Like I had goosebumps. Like why you get? I didn't cry. No, this movie didn't make me cry at all. <laughs> and I cry really sometimes. So but, but when she was vlogging herself, like I was really more like why stop it? Like it's okay stuff like that. You get now. And when she was saying ah a minute. Ah, like God, God, God. This is acting. This is a movie, guys. This is a movie. Seven episodes. Seven episodes. And I never fast forwarded anything at all. I didn't skip any bits. So I watched it like that. Hmm. Oh, okay, guys. And that's all I have for now. Let me know what your, what was your favorite part in this uh, movie, um, King of Boys. Um, we talk about the king. Let me know your favorite part, guys. Like, and if you think there's any um, more interesting Nigerian film that is like this, Nigerian film, Nigerian series that like this, please drop it in the comment section. Let me also watch it too and see whether I can see a rival to this um, King of Boys. Because for me now, this is number one movie in Nigeria. Like, like all time, all time, number well, one series, number one movie. I don't know what one's called it, but number one Nollywood project. This is it. Like, this is it. This is it. When I die, tell my kids that I said that. King of Boys, The Throne of the King, is the series of the moment. <laughs> any moment it is, any moment it is. Okay, guys, um, that was the laugh for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Why me, Enola? But, <laughs> I said,
said a lot of bad words. Oh God, stop it! And your last salami, Aladi, and your last salami is <laughs> signing out. Peace out, guys.